Dr. Piramal, uh, do you think the leadership, uh, whether it is men or women, in large corporate houses and uh, across the country are doing enough to ensure that people are able to be welcomed back, women are able to be welcomed back after they take a break? Yes, yeah, so I'd like to cite the story of Mr. Vagul, who's a doyen of the financial services industry. And he told us the story that one day a mischievous shareholder asked him that why are there so many beautiful women on your board along with you at ICICI Bank? And he said, no, I, I said to Mr. Kamath, who was sitting next to me, I will answer that question. And then he said the story of this Buddha Pikshu, who uh, you know, was walking on the forest and a thug passed him and there was a woman running away from him. And there was a fork on the road and, and she took one of the roads. And the robber asked him, where did she go? And he said, you know, I only saw a human form running. I didn't see whether it was a man or woman. And Mr. Vagul said that in my organization, I don't see whether it's a man or woman. I see whether it's a bright mind. And that bright mind is what makes uh, the bank have so many women leaders. And it's not just women development, it's women-led development. And one of the clues that he gave us was to always make the world around women in your company hospitable. And therefore, at, that attracts more women. If you clean up the computers for, you know, bad things which women have to watch all the time, or you give, uh, you know, credit on merit, you treat them as bright minds rather than, uh, you know, just men or women. You know, Zia mentioned about STEM and why so many women fall out. And in my industry, which is in healthcare, women are naturally uh, health givers, whether they're doctors or they're nurses. And in that industry, women are leaders. But yet, why do they not re retain that leadership in STEM? And how do we get more people uh, through the sciences and through engineering and through mathematics? And that's a big challenge for the, for the future. And the way to do it is really to create a hospitable environment Today from zero, I have 150 research scientists who I just met last week. And uh, in, in, you know, they're filing patterns which the world cannot break those patterns. They're so good. And so these are, uh, I think, successes that we should celebrate. Uh, women in technical sectors, uh, women in IT, women in, in STEM. And uh, women-led leadership to me is, is the key word and not just women development. Uh, I'm happy to say that uh, today, and I am so excited that, that the reason that I'm here is that uh, not to get an award, but three women in my family are getting the award tonight. One is my daughter, who's a chairman of the pharma company I used to lead. One is my daughter-in-law, and one is my sambandhi, who we share two grandchildren. So it's three, uh, three women in my family on this stage. Uh, I feel so proud that women are moving up those, they're all leaders in their own right, and they're all working tonight. So I'm uh, doing the pleasant job of, of, of standing in their place. <music>